public statement of Mark O'Donnell, it has come to my attention that on Monday, January 30, 2022, a Reddit statement by resigned, J. W. Watch Operations Director Kim Silvio was posted concerning the activities and conduct of J.W. Watch J.W. Survey founder. Lloyd Evans. Following that statement, a monetized video was released by Lloyd Evans in which he addressed some of the claims made by Ms. Silvio, who described a private conversation she had with Mr. Evans and one additional person. The live stream video was replete with expletives and references to alleged sexual contact with prostitutes, Evans declared in strong language that his infidelities were not the business of his patrons or the public, stating that how he used donated and other funds is beyond scrutiny. I strongly denounce the use of any finances for purposes that create a notable conflict of interest for any reporter covering the sensitive topic of child sexual abuse. In my opinion, the links between sex work and the grooming of children, child abuse, violent crime drugs, and other unlawful activities call into question the credibility of anyone reporting on the subject of child abuse. While it is not my business to judge the personal lives of other reporters, I must take on board feelings and sensitivities of the general public, including those affected by these activities, as a reporter and consultant for child sexual abuse cases in the United States and worldwide, I am obligated to adhere to a reasonable code of conduct that mirrors the gravity and substance of this subject matter. I am also sensitive to the feelings of survivors of abuse who trust my integrity and work, many of the survivors have conservative values and ethics, and I respect their positions. Most news organizations have a code of ethics for reporting and for the conduct of journalists themselves. For example, National Public Radio, NPR, recognizes the importance of giving weight to the scruples of its patrons by reminding the public that perception does influence credibility and that reporters have limitations to secure the public's trust, we must make it clear that our primary allegiance is to the public. Any personal or professional interests that conflict with that allegiance whether in appearance or in reality risk compromising our credibility, we enjoy the right to robust personal lives, yet we accept some unique, professional obligations and limitations. Because our words and actions can damage the public's opinion of NPR, we comport ourselves in ways that honor our professional impartiality. NPR. Sentence should be removed. As a result of Mr. Evans' statements, I have resigned from affiliation with Lloyd Evans and J.W. Watch effective February 1, 2022. I will always be thankful for the information I have shared on Lloyd's website and channel, and I know that those who follow my work respect the long hours and resources I have personally devoted to this endeavor. My work remains unchanged. A few facts for clarification. Neither myself nor my wife Kimberly O'Donnell had any knowledge of these issues until January 30, when this was made public by Ms. Kim Silvio. Ms. Silvio released information ahead of her statement to persons not associated with J.W. Watch and without the knowledge or consent of Lloyd Evans or his wife, Ms. Evans had no knowledge or advance notice of the public statement of Ms. Kim Silvio. I was not funded or employed by Mr. Evans, J.W. Survey, or J.W. Watch. My work has been supported by my own personal savings aside from my resignation. I have had no personal communication with Lloyd Evans for several months, and I have received no apology related to his conduct and its impact on those connected with JW Watch or the general public. I have had absolutely no contact with Kim Silvio or producer Bob in any matters related to this issue, either directly or indirectly. Certain additional allegations against Mr. Evans have surfaced since January 30 that are false and uncorroborated and have caused great distress to Mr. Evans' immediate family. I condemn any claims that were made with malicious or slanderous intent and without substantiation.